in Greece they eat a lot of things like butter beans and fruits mm. to my students. So what I'm going to do one here, this one here is what I call, um, well, this is a, a Turkish based dish. So it's roasted vegetables with a very thin tomato sauce that you boil down and add to the vegetables later on. Right. Now, before we do that, I was going to take this, this tuna off. So we, is that fresh or frozen? This one? is the frozen tuna, which I want you to try. Okay. Okay, we'll come back to that in a second. Now, roasted vegetables, you've got to be slightly careful. Some of the ones I roast quicker, some slower, and I grade well, them out. Well, this is my bug bite, right. Phil, I was going to ask you, see, because I like roasted vegetables, but I don't like them too crunchy. I don't like them too al dente. I like them quite soft. Yes. But then the problem is, I think, oh, no, that's not quite cooked, and this one's burning, and then the edges of the courgette start to burn, and, yep. the, you know, and your sweet potato hasn't cooked. Yes. So uh, that's a very good point. So you, you need to grade them out. Now, what you can also do is blanch them first as well, Boil cold water up to the boil, take them off, and that just takes that raw edge off yeah. them. But I grade mine out. So in here, I've got aubergine which takes quite a bit of cooking because it does soak up a lot of oil i've got peppers and, and onions mm -hmm. in there and in here this is like a on based on a turkish dish that i cooked a few years ago I have potatoes and carrots which take a little bit longer than obviously so the root, a bit of pepper. the root vegetables you start off on their own yeah and even yeah. things like swede or turnip will work very well in there as well so what, what the seasoning is allspice which is a jamaican pepper and also a bit of ground coriander. Now, if you buy the, 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 um, the whole coriander seeds, yeah. dried, you pestle them more to break them up, and end up with this one here. But it has a lovely orange smell to it. If you can smell that. Mm, it just, it's like Christmas. It, yeah, it just, it just bring, I think, brings out the mm. flavour of the vegetables. So, mix on the coriander and the allspice on it goes like that, and then I add a little touch of olive oil. Now, things like aubergines will take a little bit more roasting because they will soak up a little bit more mm. oil than a potato would, and then into the oven and roast them Roast them for probably, I don't know, 20 minutes. And do you cover yours? Is no. that the other thing? So I go, do I cover them to stop them burning? No, you can do, but what happens then is you trap in the moisture, and so they end up stewing yeah, rather than roasting. Yeah, a bit roasting. soggy. Yeah, and, and think about things like aubergines is, when you actually roast them, it loses pretty much 90% of its moisture. That's what gives it a flavour. Right. So, you're, you're, so don't cover it? No. OK. Now, after around about tw 20 minutes, uh, here it is. Th th this is what happened. So mm. here's the, the carrots, and here are the um, here are the, the mm. peppers and things we could. Just before we go a bit further, can I just show you? This is the end dish. I should have gone through this a bit earlier. Oh, you seen that? Oh, I, I do apologise. Oh, the air. Uh, okay, right. So into there, like that. Now well, it smells lovely. It does smell nice, but as you can see, I have actually over roasted these very, very slightly, as you can see. Is that a Sheppy term of burning? I've just over roasted them slightly. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's what not I said. Really. <laughs> not really, but you do increase flavour. When you when you actually roast them hard, you do it you do increase flavour, certainly. Into there. And then the potatoes go as well. They will go slightly crispier than they would do normally. But I, I like that into there. So okay. now the sauce for this is very simple. In this pan here, I have tomato juice, good quality tomato juice, just reduced down. To that I'm gonna add a little bit of red wine vinegar. In that goes. Just tomato juice from a carton, not, yep. not from a carton. Or, no, 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 just from a bottle. Juice. Okay. Um, you can use passata, mm. and it'll obviously give a bit more bulk because mm. it's actually got a puree in there as well, or puree tomatoes. And then a little bit of salt and pepper in there. And, and you want to reduce them down to it has that sort of like syrupy consistency. The vegetables at this stage you can add either raw garlic to, raw garlic paste here, mm. or you can add a little bit to it and roast it. But be very careful because if you do roast it in the oven, it will burn. And That's why you add it at the end. Garlic, exactly. Isn't it? Now, a lot of the Med Mediterranean countries have things like chickpeas, butter beans, that sort of stuff, to give it bulk and also protein. So I add a can of chickpeas into the tomato mix at that point there. Turn that off. And then, as you can see, I'll just bring this over here. Do you want to here. put the garlic in there? No, I'll no. put some in for you. Oh, I've just done it. Okay. So, as you can see, the, they're just coating the chickpeas perfectly. In that goes, like so. And then... Rather than having a stew, you're roasting the vegetables to get that flavour, and then you're adding the tomato sauce to it, like so. OK, put a touch more in there, because I made this a bit earlier. In that goes. And then I'm going to pour this into the dish. And then I, what I will do is top it with the tuna. And now this is a frozen piece of tuna, which I've actually cooked. So can you cook it from frozen? No, you defrost oh. it. Now, the good thing okay. about that is, is you can put this packet of sachet into a pan of cold water, mm -hmm. a bowl of cold water. Because it's completely sealed, none of the water goes inside. When it comes out, because it is frozen, and you get what they call water migration. So you put it in migration. a bowl of cold water yeah. and then defrost it in there? Yeah. For how, take, how take, long? Take 15 minutes. Oh, is that all? Yes. Oh, okay. and, and then when it comes out of there, you have to pack it really dry on kitchen towel to get rid of the water migration. Mm. Get mm. me, and um, oh, you're cooking. Cook it like you would do normally. I'm using my finger, fingers here. 
You love tuna, don't you? Yeah. I'm, I like. I prefer tinned tuna. Well, <laughs> I just do. Can, you, <laughs> I just no, do. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I, I like a lot of canned things, but have a little taste of that and see what you think. Oh, sorry. Now the, the, the tuna is slightly overcooked, but it would work nice with swordfish. But it is a roasted vegetable dish that you're adding a sauce to rather than a stew. Very tasty, I very savoury. Veggies. It does work. Very, very nice. Oh, yeah. So there you are.